I would like to introduce my concert I have next Sunday in Küsnacht, a city close to Zurich. I play a recital with Yula Mislavskaya on piano and the program with two new compositions, one of my best friend, Andreas Nick, and a premiere of a piece of mine. And in included also two pieces of the great, great epoch of instrumental music, um, of absolute music in the 19th century by Robert Schumann and Johannes Brahms. When I started that... <laughs> special G flat because it could be that was BF minor he puts this low ninth or low second make it so dark okay everybody who plays the clarinet knows this preambula this introduction in the melody of the clarinet when we start to play the first sonata opus 120 that Brahms composed at the end of his life now it was very interesting for me now to go again back to the sonata as a clarinet player because I practiced this piece on the piano, which is much harder than on the clarinet, by the way. And um, I composed a lot. And so now it was interesting because when you play the piano, you get a totally another view. One first is you understand much easier and clearer the harmonic structure, the whole composition of it. And this is, for instance, it's not a piece for clarinet with accompaniment. It's a chamber music piece. It's more a piece for piano when one voice has a clarinet or a duo. But the, the piano has so much more content. I don't say that it's more important. At the end, it's a duo. But it's very difficult to understand this piece from the voice of the clarinet. You need more. You have to study the piano. Let's take an example, this beginning. What is Brahms doing? He starts, of course, with F minor. Then he doesn't go to the, to just, let's say, in the classical way. No, he changes to the six. And then special. And then even more special. Where we have again, is G flat. So you, you see, he makes a cascade of drei Klängen, of major major chords, one, one yeah, minor, minor of, of course as well, down. And this is, we have also in the clarinet, we start with just two notes of the thing, then he goes just goes down. Of course he makes it more interesting. He doesn't do no. He makes a more interesting line. He goes up to make expressive intervals. Then in the next bar he gives a kind of a movement to the fourth bar. And then this really big, um, also, or also big um, interval to the high, high E flat, which is really hard to play on the clarinet. Um, yes, so that's the beginning. Now, I think it makes, it helps when you understand harmonic structures to understand. But what even helps more now for the interpretation is look at the structure, what he does now in the following. When he doesn't do... Mm, Like that, but he does. One, two, ta ta ta, ta ta ta, ta ta ta. And now, very special is okay. First, we have this, this um, eight notes, which give us a certain movement in the whole piece. And the other thing, the right hand is ba ba. Ba -ba. The two, the emphasize on two. And where is that coming from? 
from the Vienna Vals. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now, with this feeling, you can start to play it differently. And now, because it is not, of course, it's one line, but it's not. Yeah, it was once a tradition um, to play it like that, which is not wrong in a certain way because it's one line for sure. But it is also, he makes the slurs. It's this di yum, di yum. And on the piano, on free, we have nothing. It is really, we have to take away the weight of the free, a free and emphasized di yum, di to yes. We see it even clearer when we take um, the piano. And he has points on the on the four on the on the, the quarter notes. We know that because what are we playing? Yeah, that do 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 We do ornaments around the melody in the piano. So, yes, is that really important to know when we play the piece? I'm sorry. Yes, because only like that you can come deep in an understanding of this wonderful music. And of course, you can have the joy and just play it. But as a professional musician, you have to go deeper. And I can tell you, I have to listen 30 seconds of this sonata and I know where is the understanding of the piece. It's obvious, you cannot hide it. But when it's there, it's so wonderful, of course. I will tell you a little bit more uh, about the other pieces in the next days. Bye-bye.